All right, so I am headed to the gym. Um, I still have like a little bit of a headache, but it's definitely much better. So I'm going to take this opportunity to go and finish my leg day or start and finish my leg day. Um, fuel, blue coconut BCAs. Um, intra workout, I always drink my BCAs during my workout. It is a must, absolute must. And this blue coconut shiznits is bomb. Um, and then, I was contemplating taking pre-workout or not taking pre-workout. Like I need it because my head hurts, but I'm afraid to take some because my head hurts. Like I'm conflicted, right? But I'm just gonna take some anyway because I'm probably gonna have a better workout with it. So I'm gonna do the red apple pump. And I'm not gonna do monster, just gonna do one scoop of this. So yeah. Listen up, y'all, cause this is it. The beat that I'm like, this is the gym I go to. One of many Bentleys. Really? I want a Bentley. Actually, I don't really care for a Bentley. They have a Bentley SUV and it's actually kind of ugly. And it's like $250,000 for like the base model. I don't think so. Anyway, chugging this last little pre-workout. <sighs> and uh, we gonna kill it. I always go to the gym. These are my pre-gym thoughts for you guys. And I try to see like, like if I see a Bentley out there, or like a Ferrari or something, I'm like trying to guess who the driver is. Like, oh, wait, who drives the Bentley? And then I, there's another white Bentley. This lighting is fucking horrible, man. There's um, another white Bentley, also convertible. I don't know what model that is. I don't know anything about Bentleys. But I was forever, it was like always out here every single time I was here at the gym. And um, I was trying to figure out who it was. I finally got to see who got in the car and it was totally not what I expected. Like, don't judge a book by its cover because you just really never know. JS. All right, you guys. So I thought I would do a commentary over this workout. <sighs> just because I don't do them as often as I should. So here I just started off with leg extensions. The thing with this is that I tried to focus on the coming down motion and just being slow. Usually I count to like five. However, towards the end of the set, I kind of go a little faster because my legs are burning. So um, that's just a quick tip there. You'll notice a way bigger burn that way. And you can see I'm going like ridiculously fast because I can barely do it any longer. Then I did the leg curl machine. So the quick, super important tip here is never let the weight touch back down. So keep tension in the glutes the whole time and then try to keep it controlled. So if you're, if you're, hamstring curl when you go up if it's swinging back to your butt you need to put more weight on that just know that and keep your hips down the whole time too i don't want to see like you don't want to see your your hips flailing up and forth either you need to keep it controlled so every week i do stiff legs but i always try to change the platform in which i do them in so i hadn't done these in a while and these are just um stiff legs on the i added a lot of extras here like for example the band on my legs which you don't need you can just do them without a band but I love adding bands so this is stiff legs on the Smith machine standing on a bench standing on the bench allows for you to just get more depth and range of motion I also like to focus on keeping my feet further out from the bar and that like it helps you go I just burped that's disgusting <laughs> it helps you go deeper into your uh hamstrings you'll feel it much more uh when you when you scoot your feet just a tad bit up uh so this is one of my favorite ways to do the stiff legs and then of course we've got the hip thrust which i swear to god are just my favorite glute exercise ever i switch it up too sometimes i'll go really heavy and i'll use the smith machine for that sometimes i go light and i try to go for a lot more reps. I think I did probably 15 to 20 around here, so I chose a lighter weight. I think I did 60. I usually do between 60 and 80 pounds. And then I always use the band to keep tension on my knees because you want to focus on keeping your knees out. And then whenever you come up, squeeze the glutes every time. My glutes hurt so bad on this that like they start cramping every single time. 
All right, so moving on to the leg press. I'm actually focusing on going a lot heavier, and I've moved into, I'm doing like two 45-pound plates plus a 10-pound plate on each side. So I'm pretty happy with that because I used to like not do any weight on leg press. I did, I like to keep my legs out, toes like almost off the platform just to push so that I can focus on pushing through my heels. And then I also do the single leg after I do the two leg leg press. Uh, so here, this is my this is my favorite way of squatting. I hate doing regular freestanding squats, but this with a cable, oh my god, I love it. And I try to go deep, down, low, all the way until my butt touches my ankles, and I push up through my heels and squeeze my glutes each time. And that is the end of the commentary. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Brownies. And make them boys go loco They want my treasures so they get their pleasures from my boat So you can see me, you can't squeeze me I ain't easy, I ain't sleazy I got reasons why So that is the first couple of boxes of orders I got That's exciting It's a lot of brownies And then I've got a couple more boxes to open up in here still and boys just come and go like seasons for delicious. But I ain't promiscuous. And if you were suspicious, all that shit is fictitious. I blow kisses. Then I got my order from Genetics. I got some s'mores, um, Campfire S'mores Whey. This is their new fat burner. I haven't tried it yet. It's called Thermoline. I've been using the burn. So I'm ready. I'm really excited to. Um, Try this out. It says muscle definition on the front. Oh, I'm excited. Burn PM. I love to take this stuff before bed. Rush. You guys already know that's my uh, pump amplifier. So it's a stim free pre workout, pump pre workout with stimulants, and of course, fuel coconut BCAs. One more package. Puts them boys on rock, rock, and they be lining down the block just to watch what a cookies. Cookies. These are for me to do photo shoots, and these are for me to take over there. We have a new uh, chocolate chip flavor as well. Oh, she sent me a whole bunch of business cards. So we are now um, making sure that everyone knows that you should keep your cookies refrigerated just to help keep them longer. So keep them refrigerated for up to two weeks and then anything after that you want to freeze. I basically just put mine straight in the freezer and grab and go. Um, I got, these are just personally for me to eat so I didn't want to waste my own packaging on that. Um, so she just sends them to me like this and then these I'm actually going to take to a nutrition shop um, that I'm meeting with on Monday, and we're going to uh, give them some samples. I'm not having oats for breakfast. Trying this out, I already took a bite out of the toast. So, just regular double fiber toast, an egg, an egg white omelet, strawberries, and this is Ashton's. We're like having the same thing, except he gets all those little sausages. <laughs> So today is my cheat day and I decided to make it a full day of eating because I had a lot of questions about how to eat on your cheat day. And basically, I'm eating like normal. So this is gonna be my meal too here. Green beans, chicken, and some apple, shredded lettuce, and mustard. Lots of mustard. Yum. We are currently at South Congress Hotel and I got a an almond milk cappuccino, which I do every week. It's kind of my treat. And Ashton got the, uh, he ordered Second best burger in Austin. Let me show you guys. It's about to come out. It's so good. And I'm just gonna watch. Because I'm not having a burger for my cheat. I haven't decided what I want yet. We'll see.
in your mouth. Yeah. Open it towards me. So we can see. Oh yeah. Holy crap. I gotta send a picture of this to Brett. Next meal is going to be um, chopped broccoli, steamed chopped broccoli, grilled chicken, shredded lettuce, and some jasmine rice, all topped with a fabulous yellow mustard dressing. Yes. Do you guys know that you can actually mix yellow mustard with like vinegar and it makes like an awesome dressing? I like to do that with the Dijon mustard as well. So, could eat this up. I'm slightly behind on meals. Um, I should have had meal four and then my cheat meal, but um, it happens, so whatever. Um, so, I'm taking it kind of chill this weekend since I had like high hot pancakes and craziness last weekend, and I made an at home grilled cheese sandwich on this ginormous plate. I've got a bowl of cinnamon checks with some protein uh, milk, basically just like protein powder and almond milk blended up together. And that is part one of my cheat meal. And Ashton's having some icon meals and he's having the beef fajita bowl and some ground beef and rice. I actually really like to eat mine cold. Is that weird? They're so good cold. Oh my god, I love it. Well, this guy wouldn't devolve a ball up now. If he would like to figure out what's wrong here, we need to be allowed to access it. No circumstances. Chewing will handle that. So good. Alright, so quick summary of what I ate for my cheat meal, which was like the most random stuff ever, but sometimes I just have these random cravings and so I use my cheat meal to kind of aid those cravings you know but you can't just eat like a bowl of cereal for your cheat meal that's not enough calories you need to the point of having a cheat meal is to one it's not going to make you gain weight if you're just, it's just one meal um, but it's to kind of like spark your metabolism a tad and then kind of fuel you for the rest of the week now that being said I eat like 150 grams of carbs a day every day so I'm not hungry or starving by any means, but I always crave my cheat meal. So, including everything that I ate, I had Fit Crunch Brownie. Yeah, the Fit Crunch Brownie was the last thing I ate. I ate a serving of the cinnamon check. I had a grilled cheese sandwich with the Nature's Own Double Fiber Bread, fat-free craft cheese, a scoop of whey protein powder, the Genetics um, Whey, a double chocolate fit and delish cookie. That came out to 782 calories, 93 grams of carbs, 26 grams of fat, and 59 grams of protein, which is what you want to see out of a cheat meal. Um, I usually like to keep my cheat meal around six to 800 calories and uh, not like super dirty. So like I go to places like IHOP because I know I can get no butter, I can Customize it a little bit to just take out those extra added calories that you don't really need um, So yeah, those are my tips just eat regularly throughout the day. I usually only skip one meal I'll probably end up skipping two meals today because I just ran out of time So I have I've had four meals all together And I'll probably eat like some chicken or something in a couple hours before I go to bed so. What's up fam? So it is not Saturday it's the next day, Sunday, I realized as I was starting to edit this 
um, footage that I forgot to record my last clip for the video. Um, last night I actually, after I ended that clip, I we watched a movie or something and I fell asleep on the couch and then woke up, like I don't even remember doing this, took four ounces of chicken and ate it with mustard for my last meal. So I didn't like, I kind of vaguely remember it, but it's like this out of the world like experience kind of thing. Um, so I didn't get to film that. But basically yesterday it was just, I think I was, what did I have, like five meals? I was one meal short. Um, and that's just my fault because I started eating too late in the day. But basically when you have your cheat meal or I just wanted to, because I had a lot of questions about this is how do I work in my cheat meal? Um, do I just like skip carbs the whole day or do I starve myself? You know, just no, you eat just like normal. So there's two ways that you can eat a cheat meal. Um, some people have a refeed day. So they hit like a, like a macros goal that they have. It's just like a super high carb goal and it's like 200 250 so the best thing to do is to plan out your day the day before um so that you're not left with like 200 grams of carbs like at the end of the day um and then spread it out kind of evenly through the day and then another tip to prevent bloating with those really high carb days like that is make sure you're not overeating fiber and make sure you're not eating too much dairy so just be careful with things like froyo and stuff like that these are great for like if you get the like non-fat froyo for high carb low fat kind of options but they can leave you bloated if you're sensitive to dairy so be careful with that and then if you're just going for like a free meal basically i just eat my meals like normal and i usually skip skip meal five i try not to eat my cheat meal like as my last meal of the day i i leave it to that like dinner option and then like i still have one more meal to eat after that usually for my cheat meal i like to have a steak and like potato it just makes me feel the best. Last week I did pancakes just because I hadn't done them in a really long time. So I wanted to do that before like I really got down and dirty on prep, you know? And then this weekend we were just keeping it low key and I was thinking about doing the steak but I didn't, we didn't feel like going out and buying some. So I just had a bunch of random things that I was craving. I didn't go overboard on, any, on anything. I measured everything out. I think it's really important to incorporate cheat meals into your routine because it just helps keep you sane you know if you have this craving that you really just can't kick just save it for your cheat meal you know incorporate it then um so yeah those are my little tips i hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's full day of eating and uh, make sure and thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i will also be announcing the winner to the giveaway right after this clip. Stay tuned, I've gotta go online and look real quick because I picked one but I can't remember who it was. So I will let you guys know in the next clip.